Cataract surgery is the commonest eye surgery we perform at eye solutions. You may be aware that during cataract surgery we implant a lens inside your eye. This lens is known as the intraocular lens or the IOL. If you don't implant this lens in your eye, you would have to wear a plus 10 or a plus 12 numbered glasses. You would practically be blind without glasses. Now selecting a lens that will go into your eye during the surgery is an important part in the process of planning your cataract surgery and that is what we are going to discuss today. The process of selecting a lens involves two parts. The first is the power of the lens and second is the type of the lens. Now the power of the lens is derived by doing certain eye measurements. We basically try to measure the length of the eyeball, the curvature of the eyeball by an instrument called the A-scan. Sometimes to measure the curvature of the eye we also use another instrument called the corneal topography. Using these measurements we are able to calculate the power of the lens. To complete the eye examination we may even do an examination known as the OCT which measures the health of the retina. The retina is the backmost layer of the eye and is a light sensitive part of the eye. So using all of these measurements we are able to derive the power of the lens. The next step is to select the type of the lens. A lot of our patients that I see tell me Deepak why don't you go ahead and choose a lens and we will be happy with that. Unfortunately it's not as easy as that. The type of a lens that the patient may want or that a patient may be happy with would depend on the patient's requirements, the patient's lifestyle and also the patient's personality. You may be surprised to hear that a patient's lifestyle or a patient's requirements plays a role in selecting the type of lens. But consider this, if there's a person who has worn glasses for all his life and wants to continue to wear glasses even after surgery, there could be people like that and there are. Now this type of a person should select a monofocal lens. Now what is a monofocal lens? A monofocal lens is a lens which gives you clear vision for far but you have to wear glasses for any near activity. So for reading, for looking at your phone, you will have to wear glasses. But there could be another group of people who want to be glass free for both far as well as near. They want to be able to watch television as well as read a book but without glasses. And these type of people should probably choose a multifocal lens. And as the name suggests, a multifocal lens will give you glass-free vision for almost 90% of all your activities. The problem is that a multifocal lens is not for everybody. Um, if you see a multifocal lens, it has these circles around the lens. That These circles are what give the lens the multifocality or the two different points of focus. What these circles cause is when these type of people have the lens in their eye and when they are driving at night, they will see a lot of halos around the oncoming headlights and these halos can be very disturbing. So if someone comes to me and tells me that uh, they want a multifocal lens, but if they have a very active social life in the evenings or they are involved with a lot of driving in the evenings or later at night, then we would actually advise against using the multifocal lens for them. A multifocal lens is also only good when the rest of the eye examination is completely normal. If somebody has a retinal condition or a retinal disease, let's say because of diabetes and uh, the OCT scan that we did earlier shows that diabetic eye disease, then a multifocal lens is not a good option because the quality of vision that the patient gets when they have a retinal disease with a multifocal lens is not very good and they become very unhappy after the surgery. If you are the type of person who wouldn't want to wear even the smallest number to see clearly or who wants to see crystal clear all the time or who is very sensitive to even very tiny changes in the quality of your vision then maybe multifocal lens is not a good option for you because even though we put a multifocal lens there is always a chance that you may get a very small number and if that small number is going to bother you then you may end up becoming 
uh, very unhappy after the surgery in spite of everything having gone off well. There could also be a group of our younger patients who undergo cataract surgery who are on the computer for 10-12 hours a day and for them having clear computer vision is critical. Now a traditional multifocal lens will give you very good vision for far and very good vision for near but it may not give you the best vision for the computer and a patient who has a multifocal lens inside his eye may have to move a little closer to the computer to see clearly. For these patients, a better lens choice would be a trifocal lens. A trifocal lens is one of these and what a trifocal lens does is it basically gives you clear vision for three distances. The television, a computer and your phone or a book that you're reading. Speaking of trifocal lenses, there is in fact a new lens uh, which is available in the market which is called the Synergy. Okay, this is how the box looks and you can see the circles uh, on the lens. Now what the Synergy lens does is it's a trifocal lens. It basically gives you very clear vision for far, very clear vision for near, very clear vision for the computer but it also gives you clear vision for the entire distance between your phone and the computer. The range, this range is completely covered by this lens. So it may be better than a traditional trifocal lens too. Speaking of new lenses, there is a new monofocal lens too called the iHands lens. Now even though it is a monofocal lens, it gives you about 60% reading vision without glasses. So. It doesn't have the disadvantages of a multifocal lens, which is you can't wear it, you can't have a multifocal lens in your eye if you are involved with a lot of driving at night or if you have a retinal disease. But an eye hands lens can be implanted and you will still get about 60% reading vision. You may not be able to read a book or a newspaper, but you may be able to see the headline, you may be able to see who's calling you on your phone, and therefore. To my mind, the iHands lens is probably the best monofocal lens available today. There is another set of lenses called the toric lenses. Now, toric lenses, I think I have a box here. If you see this picture, you will see these lines on the lenses. And a toric lens is used when somebody has a cylindrical number or when somebody has astigmatism. If the cylindrical number or astigmatism is more than one, then it is advisable to choose a toric lens. Uh, toric lenses are available in monofocal lenses, in multifocal lenses and what toric lenses do is they are able to get rid of the cylindrical number in your eyes. In summary, there is a monofocal lens which should be uh, used by those people or chosen by those people who think that they are want to wear or they wish to wear glasses even after surgery. There is a multifocal lens where people want to be glass free for both distance and near for about 90% of all their activities. There is a trifocal lens for people who want to have very good vision for even the computer. And of course, there is a toric lens, which is used when people have a cylindrical number in their eyes. I hope this video helps in deciding which lens would be the best choice for you. But the final decision should be taken after consulting your doctor and after he performs a thorough eye examination on your eye so that he can help you make that decision. Thanks for watching.